Hello guys, welcome back to the Django REST Framework lecture series. In this video, we will learn creating, retrieve, update and delete APIs. So now let's write the get as well. I have to give the query set over here. We have to get all the values from the database. For that, we will say standard just I have to import the standard model from dot models import standard and also import student so standard dot objects dot all this returns a query set here we should note a point about query sets query sets are called lazy objects it's because at this point of line the database hit is not being done so when we try to access this query set object then only the database hit will be done and the data will be fetched from the database so this simply means that uh, select star from standard table and here we have to give qs and we have to write many equal to true and finally return response and here we can give data colon serializer dot data we have done with the api and whenever we write the code the server will automatically restarts so now let's go to postman so let's duplicate this request and make it a get request and this request would be a get request so here we are creating a set of apis and maintaining them very clearly so when we want to give these apis to the front end we can directly share the collection so let's stick to our code and here we can ignore the data we don't need to give any data because it is a get request so when i click the send here you go here whatever the standard table consists all the rows have been returned here for example inside create i will create a class 6 as well and when i send a post request now a new class also being created and inside get standard objects when i send the get request here you go you can see there are two objects which is class 5 and the other is class 6 and here the id is also being printed in the crud operations we have also performed the retrieve now let's create the update here for writing the update api we have to make few changes in the urls.py as well so i will just copy paste and here i will take the id which is int colon pk so whatever the url after this create standard is primary key of the row so by this only we are going to identify the object which we have to update so here inside update first we will get cox inside cox we will be getting pk this line of code gets the object from standard table only if the id is the matched pk now we can pass it to the serializer then we can copy paste the above code okay, let's hit the api let's duplicate this as well and let's change it to put and here we have to give the id of the object which is one in our case yeah let's try here put method is not allowed sorry we have to write the put over here when i send the request it is giving an error which says that a uh, name is required to update in this particular object so i am giving the name over here let's update the class 5 to class 10 class 10 and when i update here you go the object has been updated so when i get the objects here over here the name of the first row has been changed to class 10 now we have also done with update in the crud operations now we are left with delete so here we will create a delete we will get the id from the cox itself and instance dot delete message the object has been deleted delete standard object 
and when I hit the delete object the first object will be deleted here you go so when I go to get and check for the objects here you can see only one object is there the object with id 1 has been deleted so finally we have completed the crud operations which is create retrieve update deleting from the database i hope you guys understood how to create apis for the crud operations in the database we have written a lot of code to create our apis in this tutorial in the next video we will learn the easiest method of creating apis with very less code using django rest framework Please stay tuned to understand the Django REST framework completely. If you have any doubts regarding any topic, please feel free to comment. I will be sharing the Instagram ID in the description. Please follow me on Insta to get the best tips on Python, Django and web development. If this video is helpful to you, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.